How's everyone doing this evening? We have a huge project to get through today. Um, my name's Beth. Um, I love creating, I love chalking, and I love sharing crafts with you. Um, if you're watching, please like and follow my Facebook page. Uh, and please uh, sprinkle this to other crafters that you may know that would find value in this, in this live video tutorial. I'm going to do the same thing right now. See if we went live over here. There it is. I'm gonna sprinkle this over to maybe. Uh, there we go. To the VIP group. We are having one horrific windstorm. Uh, and I it's it's scary. I don't like windstorms here because we live in the woods. And we did a lot of work getting trees cut down <clears throat> earlier in the year. So some of the big ones that we were, were referred to as widow makers, uh, we've removed away from the homes on the property. But um, it's still scary to see things blowing around like crazy out there. So as you're coming in, please be sure to say hello to me. Uh, we're going to get started on this because it's a big one. I don't think it's going to be difficult. We'll do the paste and pull method just because it's so big and I don't want the paste drying on the surface. So this is the transfer. This is our largest transfer. It's a, let me get it here. It's a size E. I can't even see around it. It's a size E transfer. And I think it's absolutely beautiful and it makes you just want to sing the song <laughs> by reading the words. So. This is going on our 18 by 24 burlap board. This comes gray. You've seen me do another project like this. It comes, it's a wood frame and it's got burlap glued to it. So it comes this gray color. And I took it outside a couple days ago and spray painted it um, this nice mossy green color and then took my sander and distressed it. You're doing this one next, Barb? Hi, how are you today? Are you feeling better, friend? So, whew, it's a big one. So oh, good, so maybe you'll get, get some inspiration from what I'm doing, Barb. I also took a towel because I sanded it. I also took a towel and kind of wiped it down to see, make, see if I can get some of the fuzzy debris stuff off. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the back of this as the back. And I'll, you'll probably see me glancing out the window. <laughs> so when I go to put a big transfer like this down, if I was fuzzing it, I would only do half of it at a time. But I'm gonna roll it off of here. Our transfers are reusable silkscreen vinyl. This is a nice sticky one too. So you want to pull them um, horizontal or vertical, never diagonally because you can <clears throat> stretch them and then it distorts your, your print for your next time. That's nice and sticky all right. I'm going to set this over here. This will probably go to Where's the top of this? Ooh, that's a tree just fell down. Ay, so scary. Yeah, I hope we, I hope our um, electric holds up. It's another one. I tell you, we get some get some wicked windstorms here. Okay, I'm just lining this up in between the brads. I'm sorry, guys. It sounds bad out there. We thought that we'd kind of gotten past it. I know one of our social workers is stuck in a town away from here because of uh, 
trees on the road. Okay, I think that works. And you guys, I want to let you know that this is our third week of Black Friday sales. And they have some amazing surfaces on sale this week. So, and it's it's called the Bees Habit, so it's bee size transfers that they're they're having on special. So I'm just pushing this down really good. This transfer has a lot of good stick, and that's what you want, especially when you're moving, working on something that has a little give to it. That's going to really help us prevent the bleeds. And I can't wait to get up doing those poinsettias. Let me check over here. Hi, Alyssa, how are you? It's nice to see you here tonight. All right, I feel like I've got this down really well. Got the air up because this is like inking. You're not gonna be able to wipe this off of the burlap. You'll be able to repaint it but you wouldn't be able to clean up a, a bleed very easily, I don't think. Okay, got that. So we're gonna start at the top, and I may just turn this this way, just for a little bit better ease for me. And we're gonna do about thirds of it, and then we'll peel it and put it back down. So I've got some colors chosen here. I'm not sure if that green's gonna really show up. We'll have to see. I pulled out a brand new gold, shimmer gold, because I just felt like um, it worked yesterday, but it was feeling pretty dried out. It was way it was right down to the bottom. Boy, this one is juicy in there. I'm gonna have to stir that up. It gets tossed. Let me grab some stir sticks here. Alrighty. So how did everybody's Monday go today? Ours was good. We went to, we had to go do a little shopping or Barn kitties need food, so <clears throat> we went and did that. They actually make a, a cat chow for outdoor cats. Did you know that? It has higher calorie content for them. This, this uh, paste looks amazing compared to my other one. <laughs> okay, that looks good. I think that's going to be pretty on the words. And then I do have a little bit of this shimmer red for the berries. And then I was gonna put a little green in there. And oh, I wanted to add a little bit of white maybe to, do you know that the poinsettias that are kind of variegated with the white and pink? So I thought we'd maybe try a little bit of that. So let's get this stirred up. And we'll try the green. I don't know though. We'll see. We might just try a little bit of this and then see how it looks. And if we don't like it, I have to come up with plan B. Um, could do white, silver. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just try. Let's just try this green <clears throat> on <clears throat> these little leaves right here and see. We like it or if I need to go over it in gold. I think it's going to be too close to the color of the board. Mm. Yeah, 
think it's too close. All right, so we'll do the leaves in gold. Kind of, we're, so we'll kind of have the same kind of palette that we had yesterday. So let's go over that in gold and see if we can salvage it. That one might look a little different. And we'll do the little dots in red. But the leaves and the lettering is going to be in gold. I think that's going to look good. Should we take a peek and see what we think that looks like? good. This leaf did not come out too good. I don't know if I've tried shimmer paste on this burlap before. Thank you, Alyssa, for those hearts. You're such a sweet girl. Um, I, I like it. I think we'll go with that. Okay, let me push this back down. And let's get going here. I think I said last time that going the direction of the of the burlap was really helpful. So maybe that's what I need to do. The best I can. Try not to get those little dots. Now it's raining really good too. might have to um, do our peel and pull a little sooner than I thought with this large design. <clears throat> now let me get some of these little red dots in here. I like that color combination. Okay, let's carry on. to pay attention. It's kind of like coloring by num. Oh no, see, it went, oh no, that's an eye. That's okay. I thought I covered a dot, but it's the eye for the simply. These burlap boards are, they were very, very intimidating to me at first. Um, but the more I've worked with them, the more I've um, really enjoyed them. And they have a really excellent price point. So that's another advantage. Okay, I'm going to skim down what we have and pull that. A 
since I keep going. <laughs> oh, snort. Okay. Let's pull that up. Oh, that red looks really good on there. And you're going to get a distressed look. You see all that stuff that's pulling up on the transfer? Let's try and see. Let's see if we can get that A a little bit better. So you have to like the distressed look if you're going to use this um, surface. That's better. The leaves aren't really digging it too much though. Let's try this over. chose the right color paste for this. We'll see when it's all set and done, but <clears throat> I'm beginning to think that it might have been better to do just the matte paste, not the shimmers. So there's a little hint for you. All right, let's get this corner up here. The other thing we could do Um, this is instead of using a bunch of gold paste is to switch to a lighter solid and um, then I could just go over that maybe maybe I should do the whole thing though darn it I, I it's disappointing but you know you have to expect it when you do as many projects as I do that they're not all going to turn out like you had hoped they were going to. And that's okay. Sometimes you just have to rework them. Let's work on We'll finish this up here. I think Bill went outside to check trees. There's a couple of big ones around Sue's cabin. They always kind of scare me. Okay. electricity we lose the lives so we'll see I thought I was gonna be able to kind of beat it a little bit but maybe not how our poinsettia looks. I like the red on this a lot. The red's looking good. All right, we'll keep going. That looks very pretty. Okay. I 
think do the next section here. I'm going to go ahead and do all the little red dots so I don't accidentally. That's an eye. berries. Okay, then everything else is gold up to here, so we're good there. <clears throat> Let me grab a larger squeegee and really get some paste on there. There we go. Missed a berry. Go back through and skim up that extra. Concentrating. You can tell when I'm quiet. And this, this fabric um, tends to soak it up a little bit, too. Where did I say I missed a spot, a dot at? Oh, up here. Okay, let's pull that up. see. We've got to let it dry and we'll see. Roll it back down gently <clears throat> and push it back down. And then let's do the red dots again like we did. That was helpful. Am I still on the screen here? Little holly berries, I guess, is what those are. Oops.
We were talking yesterday how much everybody loves the shimmers. They're just such a beautiful, I don't know, when they work, um, they're absolutely gorgeous. I guess I'm not going to do the variegated either. They had some uh, really great retired transfers today on that Black Friday sale. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should hop on my store and check out. It's be under um, specials or deals or something like that. Now let's get moving on the rest of this. Looks like we're pushed down pretty good. See that paste on there soaking in. Almost there, you guys. And then we'll see what it looks like after it's dried. Um, what I may do is after it dries and I clean this transfer up, I may try in. If I don't like it, try laying it back over it and just going over it um, in like a, a dune. And that might give me the bed, like more of the type of coverage I was hoping that I was going to get here with this, but we'll see. Such a large surface, too. Oops, blipped over that red berry. Goodness, that's a lot of shimmer. Okay, we better pull this up now and see. I got stuff all over my fingers. Yeah, I don't know. I like the poinsettias. 
because they, they came out pretty. But I'm not crazy about the coverage we got with the shimmer on this board. Let's dry it and see. I can wipe my fingers off first. It looks pretty on the camera though. Let me check comments over here, see what you guys are saying. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Mike. Thanks for hopping on. Okay, so let me put this stuff away so I have room since it's such a large transfer. nice to see you, Mike. I don't know if you're still there or not. It was a long project, but it's nice to see you. about the coverage but we'll see it looks better on the camera than it does in person that's not necessarily a good thing but so I don't know I'm gonna let it dry I think just naturally it's I think it's gonna um, soak in and then I definitely see places where I'll need to lay it back down and try Camel might have been a good choice to get that kind of gold tone. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's always, it's always, um, you know, fun to, fun to try. I got a glob of, how did I get a glob of gold paste up there? I don't know. So you guys, um, that was my huge project. <laughs> um, I will, um, gonna let, I'm gonna let it sit overnight and I'll think about it. Um, it looks good on camera. The shimmers are beautiful, thank you. Hi Lynn, thanks for watching. Um, I, yeah, the shimmers are really pretty, Alyssa. And they look pretty up close. So, you know, maybe I just need to let it dry and, and do another coat. I don't know. We'll see. But I think that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. If you have any questions um, about what Chaka Tour is or if you need help with anything, let me know. I'm happy to be here to help you. I'm going to get that huge transfer to the sink and get it cleaned up. And I will be back tomorrow. So until we chalk and talk again, have a great evening.